Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in E4. This is Basilius. We, uh, I took a break. Short break between episodes to look around at estates and stuff. I, I shifted a bunch of land from burgers here and there, gave some land to them elsewhere, revoked a bunch of land from the clergy that they've held on to for a long time. There's still more that I want to do. Um, in fact, we should probably do a little bit more of it right now. These provinces that they, they've held for a long time that are already down to like 25% autonomy, we want to take those away and then give them new land instead. Still need to keep them at a high enough percentage that they're happy, but... That's a little bit better. Panic, I think we could probably also revoke. And then maybe give them instead... Sure, this one in here. Perfect. So, little things like that. Now we're making 30 ducats a month out of 115. It's pretty damn good income, if I, uh, if I do say so myself. Looking at the ledger, like, we're, we're really starting to kick ass on income. We got 107 versus 72. Like, like we're, we're kicking, kicking some seriously butt. Seriously butt. So, yeah. This is going to be a big war. We captured a couple ships. Cool, that's nice. Applying some serious pressure here. We're under siege in Rome, apparently. Who is this? Brabant? Brabant has shown up. Okay. Well, let's see if we can knock anybody out of the war. Does anybody feel like leaving just yet? Portugal individual war scores at 7. Uh, it's probably not going to be enough. Looks like there is an impending battle here. Let's go ahead and threaten him out of doing that. Because that would be annoying. I'd love to have a strong enough navy that we could actually establish some blockades on these things, but we'll have to get by without it. Nice water shortage. We've had some excellent siege status on this thing without any cannons. There's a large enough army here that there could be some, some actual threat. Did I make this into a state? I think I did, but I didn't do the core. But we can still turn on the edict, even without it. So let's turn on that defensiveness edict. I'd like to get started on the Siege of Warsaw. Let's tell Muscovy that that's their job. Don't have enough leaders. Busy, 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 and busy. Hmm. Well, it's a 15 stack. I'm sure that even if the Portuguese tried to defend it, they don't have enough men to actually counter it, despite having no leader. Let's just ignore the fact that there's no leader and get that siege started on the capital. Muscovy is not listening to me. Cool. That's fine. It's fine. I didn't expect him to. And we've won the Siege of Castilla la Vieja. Cool. Not bad. Uh, let's split up and do some carpet sieging for a month or two. And Albania's integrated. Wow, that kind of happened a little bit quicker than I expected. That's nice. Good to see. Means we have a free relationship slot, which we were going to tie up with... Uh, Kiev. We don't really need to do that, but we could start the process now. Establish a royal marriage. Do some of the other stuff. Yeah, I, th I think I'd like to just have Kiev as a subject. Why not? Hey, Plokfell. Cool. Let's get you guys onto the capital of Warsaw. Or the, the, the capital of Poland, rather. Poland, you want out yet? I mean... I mean, Fred, Fred isn't here. Fred isn't here to, like, you know, show you who's boss or anything, but... I mean, Fred was the one who knew all the backdoor entrances and everything. You guys should try to engage that? No. Good. Unfortunate disease outbreak over there. Popular noble has expired. Okay. 
This is going to be a rather unruly subject for a while, unfortunately. It's going to have so many cores that if I actually return a huge percentage of his land, he's just going to be like, I'm so strong, I want independence right away, even though Byzantium is super, super strong. A bunch of people dislike us, unfortunate. Our subjects, in fact. Might as well engage a, a 104, even if it's a 212. Like, why wouldn't we, right? Hey, it's the Spanish fleet. There's the Armada. Congrats, Spain. Impressive. I think I'm good with how those are all shaken out. A bunch of extra manufacturers are complete. Decline of the Cossacks' power, okay? Fair enough. I mean, for a while now I've been meaning to pretty much get rid of these guys. Gain army tradition. Well, we could actually use it. But I kind of like getting the, uh, the discount. Let's just leave it as, as it is for now. Wow, we're actually having a harder time fighting this than I would have expected. What is up with that? I mean, it was like all cannons, right? Pure cannons are, are not getting wrecked by, by my army? What's going on? I'm confused. Yeah, that fight should have been a little bit more one-sided, I think. Spanish five heavy fleet is in there. We're capped out on military points. Well, uh, I mean, we could take military tech, which would be fine, right? The artillery stuff is nice. But I think this is a situation where it just makes more sense to do either higher generals or... Um, I think I think just doing developments could be the better option. Especially if we can do it in... Like, I don't want to take the time to, to do this, but hopefully it's mostly going to be in provinces that are Turkish. Keep on raising that Turkish... Um, stuff. That'd be good. But yeah, it's, it's just way too tedious to try to figure it out, so whatever. Just click the button a lot. There we go. Spend some points. Everyone's happy. He's just going nuts with cannons. Why is he making so many cannons? I guess he has no cannons and he's like, I need cannons. General Steven will no longer serve us. Hmm. All right, I, I guess I will do this now. Nicodemus Zaridis, he's back. He's a three, three, two, four. All right, siege pips. We'll take the siege pips. They're not too bad. All right, five heavies versus 27 galleys, most of which are not currently up to date. Stupid knights. Let's work on that siege. We lost... Sorry, no, we lost nine galleys. They gained a galley. My fleet decided that it was a bad idea to be there. We do have an admiral. He's not very good. We should make sure that he's in charge of this fleet. As soon as that fleet is available to be commanded again. Get the force each ship guy over onto Portugal's capital. The sooner we knock him out, the better. Let's see, who's my best guy? Probably Granada. Best defensiveness? Yeah, Granada's got excellent defensiveness. 30% more than I have. 
keep that siege nice and defended, I think. 30% defensiveness, is, it's easy to underestimate the power of that. An extra 10% means that it takes him an extra... Um, what is it? Three days? So that's an extra nine days per siege. Siege tick? It's massive. Really adds up in the long run. Alright, let's continue to improve relations with the derps that live in this general area. People that are actually somewhat dangerous to join a collision against me. Looks like we're about ready to maybe try to convert Rome. Hey, there goes Warsaw. Cool. Feel like getting out yet? Give you a couple more days to, to sweat. Okay, let's get a little bit of loot from Warsaw first. And perfect, one of the diplomats is coming back just in time to negotiate with Poland for the hundredth time. Dig it? Dig it. Damn. No such luck. Alright, the sooner we knock out Poland, the sooner... Mm, Muscovy... Does nothing really, but he wants out. I don't want anything from him. Cash sounds good. War reps would be better though. Make sure that we have war reps. He's not willing to do war reps just yet. Okay. Well, in that case, like I said, let's let him sweat it out a, a little bit. Just wait. We're getting good loot. We're getting great loot from this occupation of Poland. They've got lots of baubles. <laughs> they're they're very nice. Look at that. Aragon's actually training up some little troops. How cute. And he's being invaded by Flanders, of all people. Still, just a water shortage on the Portuguese capital. Unfortunate. I really wanted to knock him out soon, too. So, we're gonna want nothing but war reps from pretty much all these guys. Um, because all of the aggressive expansion needs to go toward the returning of cores to Aragon. That's gonna drastically nerf the income of Spain. You are now willing to peace out for all of your cash. Revoke a core and all your trees to Spain. Give us your cash. Let's trade the an old trees to Spain in favor of the war reps. And then just a tad more cash, maybe. Nah, we'll, we'll go with the the three war score with the cash. That sounds good. Okay, relative strength of the alliance should really be starting to skew way in our favor. And as soon as that Portuguese gets knocked out, we'll be set. Burgundy... I don't know, it'll be hard to get up onto Burgundy, actually knock him out of the war. But we're making pretty good progress down here. There's some really high development stuff that we could be sieging. Risk carpet staging that area. Got kicked out of spying on Spain. Hmm. Well, it's 
probably about time to start spying on the Mamluks again anyway. That CB should be ready to go pretty soon. Hopefully the Aragonese hold out, and then they stack wipe that stack, it's possible. Um, kind of unfortunate bullshit stab hit, whatever. It's cool, it's fine, I didn't need that stability anyway. I like staying at positive one though. Stupid stab hit. Dumb. Belt hats. Portuguese pretenders have risen up. My navy is continuing to have a hard time out here against those five heavies. Yeah, I'll give it to them. I mean, if they're gonna pay for that many damn heavies, then they, they've got they've got the naval superiority for sure. We should probably train our own heavies soon. See if you want out yet. You do? Pay us war reps, you'll know your alliance with Spain, you give us some cash. That sounds pretty good. Wow, you're really willing to give me a lot, aren't you? That all sounds great. Revoke all your cores on everything that used to be Granada. That'll make Granada happy and then also gives me some prestige to spend on Aragon. Keep his liberty desire down. Let's get that down a little bit right now. Just one click for, for the moment. I mean, Aragon's got cores all over the place that we can return. We do occupy this fort, which should maybe count for Messina. Okay, a little bit more combat up here. Ooh, I just missed a big peace deal. So that was the, the Muscovy-Sweden deal. Looks like Sweden got uh, Danzig, and they also got Lund, and they picked up Ocel. It was a good war for Sweden. Scotland has no air. Hmm. Guns rather tiny. I'm gonna become my subject. <laughs> He's 32. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a royal marriage, like a, a personal union over Scotland, and then just returning all of Scotland's cores. That'd be kind of funny. Has absolutely no, nothing to do with the, the achievement or the goals of this campaign, but it, it'd be funny. And you know how I feel about funny. Let's go and fight that army just for a little bit of war score from battles. Another manufactory is complete. A 204 versus our. F yeah, we can take that fight. No forts over here, right? Awesome. Be great to return those. Let's see how the peace deal is looking right now. We got 35 war score. Burgundy's still in the war. Uh, if we return core Sasari and Cagliari. And then we also did like Messina just to block off that fort. Would you even accept that? Nah, it doesn't count. Shoot. All that land to Aragon is only 14 base aggressive expansion. Like, it's not that bad. We're gonna do it anyway, like, for sure. Now we just need to get a couple more of these occupations in, in place, and then... You know, return a massive, massive amount of territory to them. I guess we don't need to worry about Messina just yet. But most of the money that Spain's making right now is actually not coming from... Well, it's hard to measure right now because they're so occupied, but they were actually collecting from trade here and making like 15, 20 ducats a month. So if we take most of their coastline in here, Barcelona, uh, Tarragona, 
Valencia, all that stuff, then their income will be neutered and there goes their ability to colonize, their ability to maintain all of those 20 some heavies. This war score from battle should be pretty helpful, I think. That was a beautiful, beautiful stack wipe, thank you. Let's go ahead and get these guys set up on Vizcaya for the moment, and do we need to siege down Rusalon? I'd like to get at least a six stack moving up on the, the Pyrenees. Reelected Austria. Okay, so we'll get that other stack wipe on the Spanish. Burgundy is not going to want out at all. Unfortunately, they are a big part of why the Spanish actually have any enthusiasm. I'm not going to start the conversion of Rome. Let's do subject conversions for a while. Not until we can actually finish that state. I need to full core it and then give it to the clergy. We can we can make it happen pretty soon, in fact. I think it's like 150 admin that I need before I can actually do that. It's 86 war score. We don't have to take these. These cost a little bit more war score since they're not occupied. I'll probably need more occupation anyway, so let's get that done. So three siege pit leader, you are the three siege pit leader as well. Alright, we'll keep shuffling around. Looks like this war is going to resolve itself pretty soon anyway. Let's get these guys down and in position on the southern coast for a potential war with uh, the Mamluks again. That should be coming up in... 52! That's, uh, yeah, at the end of this year, so it's about time. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'll see you soon.